I'm Olivia. And I live in the Rockhampton region. Every day, we do things that keep us and others safe, like wearing a seatbelt or looking both ways before crossing the road. But how do we do this in a disaster? My friends and I know that disasters are a part of our lives. Our family and teachers have taught us how to stay safe in all different types of disasters that we might experience within the Rockhampton region. We can be impacted by a range of disasters, including floods, bushfires, storms, cyclones, heat waves, and pandemics. It is important that we all learn how to prepare and stay safe during a disaster. Flooding can occur through continuous or heavy rainfall. The ground becomes soaked and unable to absorb anything else, causing the water to build up and flow into rivers, creeks and drains. My grandma remembers several floods in Rockhampton. Yes, Olivia. Most of the flooding that occurs in the region is caused by the Fitzroy River. The Durumbal people named the river Tanuba. Flooding in Tanuba may come from heavy rainfall within the region or further upstream, and we may not even see any rain. But how can we stay safe, Grandma? If it's flooded, forget it. Floodwaters can move rapidly and can often wash away roads, making the water deeper and stronger than you think. You should never swim or ride your bike through floodwaters. If you are in the car, ask the driver not to drive through the floodwaters. Actually, thinking of disasters and floods, it reminds me of a story that my friend Jack told me. Jack, do you remember the story? Yes, I do, Olivia. Back in 2018, my family and I were asked to leave our home in Gracemere and go to a safer place because of a bushfire nearby. Oh no, Jack. That sounds a little scary. Bushfires are dangerous. Bushfires are large, uncontained fires that break out in vegetation as a result of humans accidentally or deliberately lighting fires or because of a lightning bolt striking the ground. That's right, Olivia. Some things we had to do was close all of our windows to keep the smoke out of the house and listen to warnings and alerts. Sometimes you need to leave and go to a safer place like we did. The Rockhampton region experiences storms that can cause heavy rainfall, flash flooding, lightning strikes and hail. In April 2020, my family and I had to close all the windows and stay indoors because of a hailstorm. Storms may cause damage to homes, vehicles and belongings outside that are not properly secured. Because storms can be very destructive, power lines can fall down, roofs can be damaged and debris can be scattered on the ground. It is important not to go near fallen power lines and wear closed in shoes if you have to leave your house. In 2015, severe tropical cyclone Marcia caused a lot of damage to the Rockhampton region and many people had no water or electricity for days. I remember eating dinner cooked on the barbecue after the cyclone. Cyclones are low pressure systems that develop over warm oceans in the tropics of Australia. There are many ways to stay safe during a cyclone, like staying indoors, gathering in the strongest part of the house and listening to warnings and alerts. Make sure you have prepared an emergency kit for times like these. I know another disaster that can happen here in the Rockhampton region. What is that, Jack? Heat waves. Heat waves typically occur in summer and are prolonged periods of extremely hot weather. That's right, Jack. The Rockhampton region is experiencing an increase in the frequency and duration of heat waves, making it extremely important for us to understand how to stay safe during these conditions. Playing outside can be very dangerous during the middle of the day. So my parents only let me hang out with my friends early in the morning or late in the afternoon when it starts to cool down. We also make sure we play in the shade, wear a hat and drink lots of water. 
Throughout 2020, my friends and I learnt about pandemics when COVID-19 arrived in Australia. Pandemics are highly contagious viruses that are easily spread and can be very dangerous. Me and my friends experienced a lot of changes when COVID-19 began and we had to learn a lot of new rules. The most effective way to stay safe during a pandemic is to regularly wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds and to stay at least 1.5 metres away from people that don't live in your house. Ways to stay safe during a pandemic can change very quickly. So it is important to listen to the advice given by doctors and scientists. So now that we know about the disasters that could happen, how do we stay safe, Grandma? Well, it is important that we are prepared and have a household emergency plan, like practicing fire drills at school. A household emergency plan helps you understand exactly what to do and where to go for each emergency or disaster that you and your family might experience. You should always have a family emergency kit and evacuation kit. Oh yes, I know what that is. Mum and Dad get me to help them update that every six months. Our emergency kit is made of all the things that we might need if we are unable to leave home when an emergency or disaster happens. And our evacuation kit is made of all the things that we might need if it is unsafe to stay at home and we need to evacuate, like Jack did in the fires. That's right, Olivia. These are very important kits and everyone in the household should know where both kits are kept and they should be regularly maintained. When preparing for a disaster, it is also important that your house is ready. This can include helping grown-ups to clean around the house regularly. It is also important to secure loose items like trampolines and swings that could be blown away in high winds during storms and cyclones. Checking on your family, friends and neighbours to ensure that they are also prepared is helpful in ensuring that everyone in the community is safe in the event of a disaster. Our pets are just as much a part of the family as we are, so it is important that we keep them safe during disasters as well. We can do this by thinking of our pets when preparing our family, household, emergency plan and emergency and evacuation kits. prepared for a disaster seems like lots of work, Olivia. It's okay, Jack. In a disaster, there are lots of adults to help. Our parents can help as well as people from the police, council, SES, fire brigade and paramedics. That's true, Olivia. I know after the fires in Gracemere, I was feeling upset and scared so I talked to my dad about it and he made me feel much better. Yes, trusted adults like teachers and family members are great to talk about these things with. You can also get more information about disasters at the Rockhampton Regional Council's Emergency Dashboard. It has some great resources so you can be prepared for any type of disaster in the Rockhampton region.